Fitzy, how does that feel? The finals monkey off the back and you're into a prelim? Uh, yeah, really good. We um, played really strong for the most part there. It ended up being quite an open game, so it was... Um, yeah, they were coming back swinging for sure, but um, yeah, really pleasing. I just, yeah, I feel like we're not that, uh, we're just getting better, we're getting closer, we've been improving. Thought um, it was a difficult week for obvious reasons, but the boys didn't seem to worry too much about it, which is, you know, that was a bit of a strategy there. We wanted to try and block everything out, so we did a good job of that, but it's pleasing. How important was the start tonight? Off. Oh, it is every week, but more not necessarily the scoreboard. How we're playing at the start was important because they were they were surging with energy. Like we had to, we couldn't get out of the backfield for a little bit there. So scoreboard's one thing, but what's happening in the contest is the other. So it's happy with that. Braden Trindle got the scoreboard ticking and then made sure it kept ticking over. Just that first half, is that maybe his best forty minutes? You think for Cronulla? Yeah, he had the highlight moments. We're going to talk about his halfback partner. He's all right oh, too. Yeah. Halfback first, he'll get there. We'll get yeah, there. Yeah, um, no, he was. I thought they were really good. Tricky's been, to be honest, last week we were disappointed with Tricky's performance, and he just same same as Nico, he just owned it. But I thought they combined really well. But Tricky's um, yeah, he's a hell of a player. We've sort of, um, he's been developing along nicely. And tonight, like those moments, he showed you. Uh, yeah, obviously his kicking game was strong. Uh, defense was strong. And then yeah, when he had a moment, he went for it and got it. He's um. Yeah, he's a, he's a good player, mate. He had the highlight, sorry, sorry, he had the highlight plays with the flick pass, but yeah. how important was that kick in the second half? I think 24-12 when they were coming back, he forces the repeat set, drink water kicks it out of the pool. You take that two, which just gives you that 14-point cushion. Yeah, yeah, he controlled that really well. I thought the, the balance of, um, again, the combination with him and Nico worked really well. They just didn't get in each other's road. They used each other really, really well. Uh, sometimes on ball, off ball, who was kicking, obviously tricky to the line, share kicking, I think, tonight, but... Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, he had a game. The, the, the boy had a game. Sorry, Greg. Just his resilience this year too. Like obviously, the, the other players who might not have been able to fight back from what he went through in the middle part of the season mm. to come back in form like he has in fin- well, tonight in finals. Yeah, I think so. He um, really hurt him for obvious reasons, and so it should have. But he um, once again um, took accountability and responsibility for th- for that, and he's done nothing other than try and repay the team. And um, he's. He's like a, he's a bubbly, he's an infectious guy. Eh? He just gives you a certain energy of, he's calm, he's confident, but he's um, yeah, he's a, he's a wonderful player and just, he's in his infancy too. He's just getting started. And you mentioned his house partner, just what you made of his performance tonight after a week of spot, or months of spotlight, shall we say? Yeah, well, I was, for me, like that, we we tried to block it all, but it was impossible. Like the phones were going off, and everywhere you go it was. How he just dealt with it, walked in and then didn't like, he just didn't shy away from anything at all this week. So, um, and not many, well, yeah, I haven't seen too many be able to deal with that and just turn up and play like that. And that's what we believe in him for. I just feel like he's a developing player that's got some elite skills and once he's getting more control. But the most pleasing thing was the way him and Tricky play together, I thought. Have you felt like they haven't played too much footy together this year just because of injuries and things like that? Have you felt like they've been building up to a performance like this? Um, not after last week. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, look, they are. We, we, we've got trust and confidence in them and belief. And, um, you know, like, to be honest, the hardest thing we had to do this week was not play Akko. We had a couple of injury worries throughout the team and then had to sort of line up to protect those injuries in case something went down there. So... Akko's delivered just as much as those boys this year and they get to uh, experience tonight, but Akko's still a big part of what we've done there. Cam, as, as Nico's captain, how proud are you of this week? He, he owns what happened last week, but the temptation's probably there to overplay your hand, right, to try and prove a pe- few people wrong, but he didn't. He just took his moments, nailed them. How impressed are you with how he's handled what's happened this week? Yeah, firstly, usually proud of him for the way he's handled it. Like, no one, none of us will ever probably go through what he has to go through. Um, but yeah, just the way that he, he just put himself to the team and, and didn't care what anyone else was saying and wanted to do his job for us. And on the flip side, you know, we have to do our job for him as well, which we didn't do last week. And I thought we did that tonight. So 
you know, we were uh, led greatly by Tricky and Nico, but I felt everyone around them did their job as well, which is the most important thing. I don't want to single out one of the fours, but, but I will. Uh, Britton Nicola, just in that second half, when he needed important runs, he seemed yeah. to come up with a few really decisive plays down that right edge. He, I mean, he's had a terrific year, but just how good is he tonight? Yeah, I thought he was, um, yeah, really, really important runs, as you said. I thought him and Toby Rudolph were... When we needed something most, and, and Cam, when we got Cam back out there, well, that was when that sort of period was starting to get going a little bit. So we, we threw those guys, obviously Britt was staying on there. Once we put Toby and um, Cam back out there, I thought that that started to control things a little bit better and, and get back in the game. But Britt's had, um, yeah, he was he was actually really strong last week too, Britt. He's, um, he's, yeah, he's going good. Tuckles it out there, especially in that middle part of the, or well, getting towards the middle part of the second half, Cam. Weren't a lot of penalties, not a lot of set race starts. Fatigue seemed to be really hitting both teams in that second half. I thought we probably felt our best when um, we were keeping the ball in play. When it started getting a little bit sloppy, probably, you know, that's on us. That's when it started to get, um, not uncomfortable for us, but just, yeah, we wanted to keep it going. So um, in the first half, we probably just kept the ball in play a lot, and then in the second half, a bit of stop start. So we'd rather, you know, tidy that up. Yeah, and Pip Pizzi was talking about, you know, you try and block it out, you can't phones are going off, just that, that external, how galvanising was that as, as a team and how much did that bring you guys together? Yeah, like we, we, we love each other and when Nico steps up like he did and just owns everything and just tells us don't worry about it boys, I'm, I'm going after it, like that's, you love that eh, that's, that's a warrior and um, yeah, you want to play with guys like that so yeah, we, we love what he, what he did this week. Fitzy, lots been made of, of the finals record, but has it sunk in that you're 80 minutes away from a grand final? Uh, yeah, not yet. It's the process and everything. Check the health. Start coaching next week too soon, but I'll enjoy tonight and um, get ready for, for what's about to come. But we, um, we'll, we'll obviously have to get recovery and get our prep right for the week. And um, yeah, it's close. It's close, but I think we've got to decent challenge on our hands, so we're looking forward to that. Can you, can you stop the juggernaut? Do, what do well, you want do you, is, is the belief there? What do you want you, to say to that? <laughs> well, it's the belief there that we're, you we're, You've got, yeah, we have to. Like, you, it's, believe that any, any, any moment you get, any opportunity you get, like, we're so grateful just to be still here, sitting in the, you know, we work so hard throughout the course of the year, keep saying that, to earn the top four, to get two cracks. Thankfully, we did, because we needed it after last week. And we've earned another opportunity. Obviously, that's going to be a stiff challenge, but we're, we're, we're ready. We're looking forward to it. We're so excited to be here, but it's not over for us yet either. Fitzy, how, how important was that win just for this side? Like, obviously, there's been a lot made of your finals record and whatnot over, over the last couple of years. Like, if, if tonight didn't go well, like, would that, could that have been the thing that may have had a last of long year effect? And now that you've got it done with and you've got the win, like, it, does it kind of clear it a bit for them? I don't want to view it like that because it's like just done and then we're, that's enough, you know. But I, um, I, I don't, I really don't think it was as big a deal as you think. Like we're just developmentally and like have just chipped away at it. Like it's not, we've had a similar squad the whole time. You can't just turn around and nail it all and get it all right. Now we painfully lost that semi last year. Like that was, we could have won that game. So yeah, that hurt. We shot ourselves in the foot there. Year before, I just we didn't play well in the semis. We weren't. I don't even know if we're ready for them. We got blown away. Like we Cowboys beat us in a field goal. We got blown away here by South. So each year's been different. But I felt like this year we're actually getting closer to what it might take to win a semi, and that's how it's panned out. But there's still more to go. Like again, I still think we're going through the the levels we have to get to. And again, we'll find out the levels uh, we're at. We didn't get there last week, but we got there tonight. So we've got another challenge coming. If you touched on Toby Rudolph, played his 100th game last week, he's another one that said he's up to Gaz. Do you feel like he's really developed <coughs> and matured as a player scout this season? Yeah, yeah, that hit the. Had a bit of a difficult period. Um, him and um, and Braden Newelli actually, he's, um, they missed pre season. Toby's had a lot more work and, and uh, than Braden has to be able to get Braden back up and running quick enough. But Toby, um, yeah, Toby's toe that he had to overcome. He's put a lot of work into himself, getting more professional, working hard, but now we're starting to see the dividends of the work he's had to put in, you know? With the Moncafrey back and a good spot, the Penrith's record the last couple of years, is it, I know you won't say it's a free hit, but does the pressure kind of lift off you guys going into next week? Like, it's all in them, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't, um, 
I wouldn't imagine anyone thinks we're going to win. <laughs> and it's fair enough. Like, they're, you know, they're, like, look at their record, as you said. Um, they're playing for plenty at the moment. They'd want to finish that off before some players leave. So, yeah, we're understanding of what's coming, but also uh, excited for the opportunity to, to, to uh, take that on. Yeah. You said check the health before. Is there any... Thing you're concerned about, or not? Yeah, oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> like Jesse, how Jesse got through was remarkable. He's um, yeah, he's a special player. He's a tough kid to get through that, but yeah, I've got to check the health of the others. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you.